Good morning, how you guys doing? It's Mike, back with the thought of the day on May 10th, 2023. First, I want to give honor and praise to the Elohim of Israel for waking me up today and giving me the strength and the wisdom to bring you this message. And I'd like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference God will and I'm going to be done. Today I want to talk about an interesting topic on how we as the so-called black community normalize alcoholism. How we normalize alcoholism. Now my reason for this video is because I posted a video on my Instagram the other day um, about showing John Moran in the club, the basketball player John Moran in the club in Atlanta drinking some tequila straight out the bottle, partying. And my reason was for posting it was because apparently the kid just came home from doing detox, in which they only had him in there five days, and already he's back in the club partying and drinking. Um, and it was just for me to emphasize the strength of the disease of alcoholism with all that that he had on the line all that that he could have lost his brain still told him it was okay to go give it another shot um and i got a lot of um backlash and things like that in the comments saying you don't want the kid to party let him grow up on his own and things of that nature and it's because our community has normalized alcoholism we see it so much and we allow it because we look at sometimes it's a rite of passage. We see people that we know in our families that drink and drink and drink and to an access and we say, oh, you know, that's just uncle such and such or you know how much he drink or he just can't handle his liquor. We got to start addressing things like it really is. That person has alcoholism and me, I normalized it in my life. I can remember arguing with another brother one day um, about who could drink the most. Saying things like, I'll drink you under the table and things of that nature. That's alcoholism, man. But it's been normalized so much in our community that we don't even pay attention to it. And by the way, no drug kills more people yearly than alcoholism. Point blank. It kills more people than all those drugs combined together. But it's normalized because it's legally sold and it's promoted to us through rappers, through basketball players, through commercials, through everything. So we don't pay attention to the damage that it's doing. When you look at drink tramps, drink champs, some of those shows be about two hours. Do you know how much alcohol is being drank during that time? I used to be drinking with them. And every time I watched one of them shows and was drinking the, uh, the same amount of times they was drinking, I was bodied after those shows. Drunk. But we, but we look at it and we normalize it. And we don't want to go get help for it. I go to meetings daily, and most of the meetings I go in, I'm the only African-American in there, or I might see one or two others. That's it. We sit around, and we act like it's cool, and we see this kid doing this to himself, and everybody thinks it's cool, and it's sad because I understand what he's going through. When you think it's okay to just keep doing it. Then I go on Instagram and I see this videos going viral of this guy from Trenton, where I'm from, on Instagram called Big Two Five, and he just be in a liquor store drunk, um, cracking jokes on people and bothering people and things of that nature. And some of it is comical, but when you really look at it, it's sad. It's sad that the world we is coming to a point in the world that we are willing to capitalize off of his sickness, man. Because it's obvious that the brother is sick. 
So we want to get a good life and, and things of that nature on his demise because he's destroying himself right in front of our eyes. What are we doing, man? We got to start getting help for this disease because we think it's cool, but it's really not. You're not supposed to go sit down with one of your friends and y'all go through a half gallon. Y'all go through a couple fifths. That's not normal. It's not normal to drink a fifth a day. And I'm a person that used to do it. That's not normal. But we have become immune to the disease and we just continue to destroy ourselves. And everybody thinks it's cool. This young boy Morant did not even know he was in the strip club that day. So to go down and sit down in the rehab, do detox for five days, and to come out, and I knew he was going to get back to it real quick because I know how this disease works, and I know that he's young, and I know that that money is flowing, so and the attention is there, and he want to get at it. But the young brother needs some real help, man. But we just say that's normal, and it's not. This brother Mike, enjoy your day. Shalom.